Still a couple more examples. Find an equation of the parabola that has vertex 4, 2 and directrix y equals 5. So again, very visual here. I think it's the easiest way to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. y equals 5, 3, 4, 5. So if this is the vertex and this is the directrix, the focus is going to be on the other side here. So we went up 1, 2, 3. We would go down 1, 2, 3 to get to the focus. This is the vertex focus. So it opens down. So you know it's got to be an x squared equation, negative p, because it opens down. So I'm going to write y minus our k equals our a times our x minus h squared. P is 3, because it's 3 to, from the vertex to the, the directrix. And so if P is 3, A equals 1 over 4 times P, which is 1 over 4 times a negative 3. Because P is negative, because it opens down. So 1 over negative 12. So y minus our vertex, this is our h and our k. So y minus the y coordinate of the vertex, negative 1 twelfth, x minus the x coordinate, 4. And this one's got to be squared. And there's your equation. Now I want you guys to try it. No, really, you try it. So... Directrix is y equals negative 2. 1, 2, we've got a line. That's our directrix. Vertex, 1, 2, 3, negative 1 is our vertex. It says find the focus of the parabola. So the focus is going to be right here because this is the directrix, the vertex, and the focus. So the focus is actually at 3, 0. But since we just wrote the equation, I want us to practice that again. The P is positive, and it's going to be 1 over 4 times 1, because the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix is 1. So 1 over 4. It's an x squared equation again, so y minus h and k. So it's actually y minus a negative 1, so y plus 1 equals 1 fourth times x minus 3 squared. And again, for the parabola, find the vertex, the p, and the direction in which it opens. So the vertex. The vertex is 0, 0, because no hk in this one. The p stems from the fact that a equals 1 over 4p. So negative 1 twelfth equals 1 over 4 times what? Well, logically, you can look at this, and you can either cross-multiply... Or you can think, okay, well, 4 times what p-value will get me negative 12? p has to equal negative 3. Since p is negative 3, and since it's a y-squared graph, which opens left or right, we know that it opens left. Because it's a negative p y-squared equation. All right, for the next one. We've got our k and our h, and so our vertex, remember on this one it's opposite for the x and opposite for the y because they're both with the right variables. So this is 4, negative 4. The p value, again a equals 1 over 4p, and so we get negative 136 equals 1 over 4 times p. And so again, 4 times what is negative 36? P has to equal negative 9. You can cross-multiply that if the equation gets a little more complicated. 
you get negative 4p equals 36. Divide both sides by 4, you get negative 9. And so p equals negative 9, and it opens because it's a x squared equation, and because p is negative, this is the one we know, so it's got to open down. And there you have it, parabolas with a vertex, focus, and directrix. Parabolas in a slightly new way, but I think very, very doable once you think about it.